Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and in today's video I'm going to be talking about all the latest Manchester United news and transfer news that's been going around in the last 24 hours. The Manchester United news today talking about gossip, rumour, news, transfers and more so make sure you stay tuned to see this video but first things first as always please hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video with your friends and yeah comment your thoughts because I read and reply to most of my comments and yeah so what am I going to be talking about exactly in this video you may ask well we're going to be talking about Cristiano Ronaldo there's a lot of rumours linking Ronaldo to a Manchester United return and it doesn't look like that's going to happen surprise 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 but I'll be discussing that we'll also be talking about a player called Eduardo Camavinga recently turned 18 wonder kid probably the best up and coming midfielder you could argue a player that Real Madrid have wanted for a while, but are they going for Pogba? Could Eduardo Camavinga come to Manchester United, Pogba go to Real Madrid? We'll be discussing that possibility and some news and rumours around that. We'll also be talking about Upa Makana, a player that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer massively admires. So let's get straight into the video, talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. So I was reading the Manchester Evening News and they basically said, United not interested in Ronaldo. I might as well read out what they said. United stance on Cristiano Ronaldo transfer. United have no plans to re-sign Cristiano Ronaldo, despite recent reports. I mean, it would be a dream come true, but I'm not surprised I did say in yesterday's video, Ronaldo to Manchester United. Mm, I don't think it's going to happen. But, you know, it's a nice thought. It's a nice thought. I'm going to quickly talk about Upa Meccano, because he's a player that's been linked to Manchester United a lot. We know he's a player that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would like. He's a, I think he was one of our transfer targets going into the summer. I believe Upa Meccano... Bellingham, Greenish and Sancho were the four players Oli wanted more than anyone else. But why? We didn't get any of them because Woodward's our sporting director. What a surprise. So there has been a lot of reports coming out linking Manchester United to Upa Meccano. Upa Meccano, Upa Meccano, however you want to pronounce his name. And I think because we're on international debate, because the chance of winning it is close, a lot of these are page fillers. But I think the fact that there's lots of reports from not so different outlets saying that we're still interested in Upa Meccano is true. I don't think it's a potentially a page filler, but I am sure Manchester United are interested in Upa Meccano. We never lost interest in him, we just didn't get him. And I think he's a, a player going into next summer when his release clause is active, a player that Manchester United could well and truly go for. So the Manchester Evening News, they talk about a report about Upa Meccano, so I might as well just read it out. Shout out to the Manchester Evening News for giving me my content for today's video. United pledged their interest in Dea Upamecano. United and Manchester City have both made their desire to sign Dea Upamecano from RB Leipzig known according to reports. Then they talk about how Upamecano is like the best up and coming centre back, followed up by saying as a result several of the continent's biggest clubs have been linked with the 22 year old with United and City always amongst the touted names. According to Sport Bill via Sport Witness, the two Manchester clubs have pledged their interest in Upamecano alongside Spanish giants Real Madrid. That does not surprise me. Yeah, the source is a bit iffy, but I think the sheer volume of reports of Upamecano to Manchester United and I think we know that Upa Meccano is an interest and he never stopped being an interest. Considering our defence's start to the season, I'm surprised that we haven't tried to get him and call him in right now, to be honest. But I think with Upa Meccano, he's a player that I think we're going to be linked to a lot come the summer. I think this time last year we were saying Jaden Sancho, I'm pretty sure we're going to be linked with him all summer. I feel like Upa Meccano is going to be that player that's going to be linked to us all, all summer. He's almost going to be like that delict, that Bruno Fernandes name, like the main signing, the main transfer target possibly going into next summer. I do believe that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer going into next summer will want a centre back, a CDM, and a winger. That's what I believe. Will he get any of them? Who knows? In other words, because I just rewatched that, I was kind of waffling and going on and not getting to the point. I would like Upa Meccano in January, but his release clause does not go into place till the summer. Upa Meccano has been a Manchester United target for the last year. He was a player that we're interested in getting. However, he obviously signed a new deal with RB Leipzig. And I believe that going into the summer, Manchester United will look to maybe activate Upa Meccano's release clause. I believe that we've always been interested in Upa Meccano and we've never stopped being interested in Upa Meccano. I think Solskjaer really wants him. He would fit into the squad. He's a pacey centre-back. It's what we need. I think Oli will want him, but it's just a question of... Will we get and will we be City and Real Madrid to his name? And will Woodward actually do his job and get a player that we want, if that makes sense? So the next player I want to talk about is Eduardo Camavinga. And basically there's a report coming out saying that Real Madrid would rather have Pogba than Camavinga. So again, reading the Manchester Evening News to, you know, shout out for the content today. 
They basically said this, well, they basically quoted a report from AS. According to AS, manager Sinadine Sedan would still prefer a move for Paul Pogba and Los Blancos believed that he could be available for a lower price of 60 million with his contract only having a year and a half remaining, which could be cheaper than Camavinga. Now, Real Madrid fans are not happy about that. And to be honest, I don't blame them. I don't have a Paul Pogba agenda. I like Paul Pogba. I know he's a great player, but he's not been good for Manchester United this year. His performances have been average. Donny van der Beek has done better in the box-to-box -box role in a lot less minutes. Donny van der Beek should be playing there, not Pogba based on form. And actually, Donny van der Beek was a Real Madrid target, but they couldn't afford him due to the coronavirus and the pandemic, and they spent a lot last summer, blah, 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 blah. And it looks like Real Madrid and Camavinga have always been linked to each other for a while. Maybe like Real Madrid and Hazard were linked to each other for a few summers before they actually got him. But I do think Sinazine Zidane and Pogba have a good friendship. And I do I can see Real Madrid going for Pogba if he's available for 60 million this summer. Because Fabrizio Romano came out and said if it wasn't for coronavirus, Paul Pogba would have gone to Juventus or Real Madrid this summer because they would have had the money to buy him. And, you know, the transfer window would be a bit more normal. So I think Paul Pogba will leave this summer. And that means if Real Madrid go for Paul Pogba, they're not going to go for Camavinga, which leaves Camavinga open to Manchester United. Whether we'll get him or not, you know, it seems that whenever there's a good player available for good money, Woodward doesn't go for them or wants to get someone else that's cheaper. You know, that's how it is. Man U and transfers were not the best. But he's a player that I'm sure Manchester United will be interested in. He's a player that gets linked to Manchester United, but again, the reports linking us to Camavinga again aren't the most reliable is it a page filler kind of report so it's, if someone reliable like said Camavinga's coming to Manchester United I'd be making a video just talking about Camavinga getting to side but he's one of those like, like Sal Niguez, Camavinga one of those players that will just constantly get linked to us Raul Jimenez but there's nothing really in it um but come next summer us in the need of a midfield reinforcement Matic aging Fred and Tom and I can't really hold on their own Pogba leaving I think next summer will be a midfield rebuild. I think we'll be looking for a defensive midfielder, a creative midfielder, and definitely a centre-back. So I think, talking and rounding up sort of the Manchester United news, I think come Manchester United, um, you know, January chance of winner is approaching. At the moment, it doesn't look like we're going to sign anyone in January, but I think it will depend on injuries come January, because we're going to be playing like three games a week from now up until January. So there's definitely going to be some injuries. It depends where we are in the league. We could be signing players in January, but I think most of the news coming out at the moment is looking at potential summer targets. And obviously, we knew last year our three main targets going to summer were Grealish, Bellingham, Sancho. By the sounds of it, it could be Upa Meccano, probably someone like Camavinga, and the third one maybe Grealish or Sancho again. So yeah, we'll have to definitely keep an eye on the Manchester United news and transfer news at the moment. I just thought I'd report and talk about those articles and discuss it with you guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching Alice Talks Football. I know it wasn't the most interesting video, but we are in the international break. So it's not really that much to talk about. I'm just going to have a discussion with you guys. As always, comment your thoughts in the comment section down below. As I read like 90% of my comments and I try and reply to a few as well. Hit that like button subscribe down below, share this video with your friends, make sure to follow me on my socials, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.